You know I have cancer. I've been suffering with it since July of last year. Frankly, I was given a death sentence. Uh, the diagnosis said that I was stage four and that I wouldn't be around by the November election. I went through five months of hell. I was delirious. I did not know if I was coming back or not. My doctor, Melanie Schramm, who was this incredible doctor at St. John's, was encouraging me to use medical marijuana. I had been using it for the neuropathy in my feet, but unfortunately I also was taking another pill called Actos that unfortunately gave me cancer. So um, going forward, uh, encouraging marijuana use versus the other drugs uh, that are more toxic is the direction we were going. I wasn't too sure if I was going to make it at all. Then about eight weeks ago, dramatic change began to happen to me. My arms, my legs, my feet, my brain got stronger and stronger. And I was able to get six hours of sleep a night uninterrupted with no pain. That came from the medical marijuana. Without it, I would not be alive today. Now, I'm in remission. Uh, I'm looking forward to moving forward in life. After July 1, when I swear in my successor, I'll be back in the private sector and continuing to do things I believe that are important. And with that in mind, I hope to live another 30 years, but I'm very optimistic. And I thank God uh, f for Melanie. Uh, but more importantly, in the context of this issue, medical marijuana has saved my life. And here I am. Going forward, and I'm looking forward to the next road ahead for me and where I'm going to be going with it. Thank you for actually being there, and many of you for your prayers, your food, your goodwill. And I continue to, to love you and work with you, and we're going to continue to make this world a better place. That's always been my commitment, and I see myself now with the strength to be able to go forward to do it again. Thank you, Medical Marijuana. Thank you for giving me my strength back and my life back.